Hi, can you see me? I have these safety goggles on because we I'm going to show you how to do this lab today. Um, you were doing this in the classroom and it's super easy or at your home instead of the classroom. It's super easy. You can do it. However, um, these are Nerf goggles. If you have Nerf goggles at home so you don't get bolted in the eye, you should grab them. You should put your hair back because, you know, this is high, high quality lab here. Okay, anyways, I forgot to give you pH paper, and I also don't have any pH paper. The whole point of this lab is to see how the pH changes of the vinegar. So, yay! And I asked around, and I can't. There's nothing we have at our house to figure out the pH unless you have a swimming pool. If you have a swimming pool and you have some pH strips, you can use that then you um, would be an amazing person. I don't have a swimming pool or pH chips. So we're just going to go with what I, we're just going to go with what I know. I also don't have a milk seltzer. I gave you all of that because you're going to do this lab at home. But in case you lost your stuff from three weeks ago, when I gave you all the stuff, I thought I would do it for you. And then uh, you can do answer all the questions or you can do the lab because it's pretty fun. Okay. So uh, if you get the directions on Google Classroom, I can't pull them up and show you how to do this. And my printer's not working. So it's a piece of paper and there's a girl and it goes, like, whatever. Um, and it reads the directions. It says you need 25 milliliters. As long as you put the same amount in every cup, I'm only going to do three because of the fact that I don't have Alka-Seltzer. Um, no, wait. Are these both the same? This is Maximum Strength Maalox. And this is my Lanta. Oh, I'm going to do four. Another glass, please. Um, I'm going to do four. And a measuring cup. Quick, just grab me one, okay? Um, my assistant's going to get me another glass and measuring cup. So I don't have Alka Seltzer and you don't have these. Yeah. Okay? Thank you. So I'm gonna put um just just anyone, half cup, it's fine. I am going to um move my coffee cup. Have you seen it yet? Isn't it amazing? It's got manatees on it. Oh my gosh, and a little baby. <gasps> okay, so I'm gonna move that because you can't drink in your lab area. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to put half of a cup. It says 25 milliliters. If you have a graduated cylinder at your house, you go to town. So as long as they're all the same. I don't think this is 25. How many milliliters is a half a cup? Do you know that? Are you I think that's way too much. We're going to go and do a fourth cup. That'd be better. So you have to have vinegar, vinegar, vinegar at your house. You should label your lab. Can you see that? Okay, so we have four. Then it says, you in the directions, it says, use the least amount on the directions. So here it says, shake well. Shake well before you. Remember, you don't have these because I can put these in a Ziploc bag. So I will give you the data for these. You should use the Tums and the Alka-Seltzer that I gave you. And then there's also baking soda at your house that you're supposed to use. Okay, so it says directions. Adults and children 12 years of age or older take two to four teaspoons full. So the directions say use the least amount. So you have to take two teaspoons full. So we are going to need your clock for a timer or your phone for a timer. Two teaspoons. Ready? One. And you're supposed to... One. Two. And you're supposed to record... You're supposed to record what happens. So you will you be my stir, please? Yeah, you stir this. Okay. Yep, we have four. You all get to stir. Super exciting. This one right here, that's test tube A. Don't forget. You are generic Maylock. Okay. I mean, that's a liquid. Yeah, I have to crush it first. Okay, so yeah, don't drink it. It's probably that one's not expired, but this one is. Um, this is expired. It's fine. We're not eating it. Generic, my lamp. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, and it says two to four teaspoons. Well, you're supposed to wash in between these. So. One. So I need four of these because it says two, two, three, and this is a half tablespoon because I want to go wash it. I'm making a mess. Don't make a mess, your mom will get mad. Okay, so I'm so heated. You want to stir this? Look at that. Look, can you see it? Oh, uh, it looks really, really gross. You can't see it. It looks like chunky, nasty. It might be expired. But Hayden, I need you to stir, bud. My okay. Oh, okay, I'm a pro. I don't want to. Do it here. Just try it. Oh my gosh. Remember when my kids are. God. You're super helpful. You should have four of them at your house. Feel the glass. When you're doing this, feel the glass because the glass, um, endothermic, exothermic chemistry there, you might get some type of reaction. My glasses are really thick. You use plastic. You could definitely feel the temperature. 
Okay, so now I'm using those tongues. And the direction of the tongues say two to four. So take two, don't eat them. Okay, so take two in a bowl, right? And you're supposed to use a, the directions say use a motor and pestle. I'm sure you all have those at your house. So you're just supposed to crush them with your muscles. Because this would be like chewing. Your mechanical digestion in your mouth, in your mouth would be chewing. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I always buy the wild berry. I never took Tums at all. I never had heartburn until I was pregnant. And then I would have, oh man. And then I would go through like a bottle every, with every pregnancy, like a whole bottle. Let's see. I'm making less. I think I said that already. Okay, so then you dump that in here. Ready? Just a second. You stir it. Yeah. Okay, and then the pH of vinegar when we started was four. You care. And now we're going to see how it got raised. Remember, the pH of your stomach is one to two, so it's not as accurate. But I want you to burn holes in your fingers, so it's fine. Okay, so the, this says one teaspoon. I Googled it, and it's one teaspoon is a serving. So I have to put four of these in, because like I said, I'm not. Ah! Can you see it? Get the bubbles. So you would write, you would record bubbly, bubbly, so bubbly. Baking soda is very high in salt, so if you have... um. Very, very, very high in sodium. And remember when we did the blood pressure thing with sodium and that was a trigger? Oh my gosh, this is really messy. Okay, I need one more spoon to stir. No, oh, this one's stirred fine. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Oh, okay. So now what you have to do, you recorded the results. This was creamy. The my, my, Maylox. Okay. And the ingredients of that, because you need to know this for a question, are aluminum hydroxide. Magnesium hydroxide and smithicone. I don't know. I probably said it wrong. Okay, that's Maylox has both three in it. Mylanta has aluminum hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide, and smithicone. Weird. Same thing. Okay, and baking soda has sodium bicarbonate because, you know, chemistry, right? And then Tums has calcium carbonate. Ooh, carbonate. Okay, so these two raised it to a pH of 5. We'll say the liquids, pH of, oops, just kidding. pH of 5, baking soda, pH of 6, and Tom's 5. Okay, so that's what they raised it to. So uh, any questions, let me know. Do the experiment, really. Do the experiment at your house with the stuff I gave you. It's kind of fun. It makes a huge mess. Look at my huge mess. You know, Emma Pearl's going to clean it up because she really likes to clean. No, I don't. <laughs> she does it. Um, you should be able to um, figure everything out. I give the answers. Uh, the, the pH, because sorry, I don't have um, a pH here. All right. Uh, let me know if you have questions. Have fun. When you're done, you should review the PowerPoint or review, work on your reading guide. Um, you don't. You don't have to make a graph. Okay, I'm going to take that out because I literally gave you the answers to the graph. So it's just four by graphs. Here, I'll show you what it looks like. Ready? One, two, three, four, done. Do you have labels? That's your bar graph. It takes three seconds. Can you see it? And then you would label them. <clears throat> Mylanta, Melox, baking soda, Tums. Ooh, and then you would have alpha seltzer because I don't have that here. All right. Make sure you don't share utensils, like keep them separate. And look at this. This is dump them down your toilet. Look at that. So gross. And then flush the toilet because that grosses people out. All right. Bye.